York University is hosting a two-week camp in partnership with the Diabetes Hope Foundation to encourage children with type 1 diabetes to live active lives safely. The camp was founded by York University professor Dr. Michael Riddell. This camp is uh, in its fourth year and uh, it is a sports specific camp uh, designed for kids with type 1 diabetes. The kids come in and they choose a sport of interest like basketball, soccer, tennis, um, track and field and they work with uh, both varsity athletes and counselors with type 1 diabetes to try to improve some strategies around sport and blood sugar control. Okay, so part of our role is we help the campers do carb counting at lunch so we help figure out how many carbs are in the meals that they're eating uh, and we help them figure out if they need help um, what insulin dose should go along with that amount of carbohydrate so that's part of what we do. Another big part of our role is we put continuous glucose monitoring sensors in some of the campers. So this is what a sensor where the needle has already been removed. Basically this flexible little piece here goes underneath the skin and stays there. Then we put a transmitter onto it like that. So this is what you see on the outside of the body. This is what's doing the work, checking the blood sugar and then it's reflecting on the screen here. Blood sugar control might get a little bit worse with exercise. You see lots of lows and lots of highs. So in the environment of this camp, what we try to do is flatten out some of those blood sugar levels to try to keep them at a more uh, stable level. While the campers are learning how to manage their diabetes, they are still having fun. Some of the kids have diabetes in that they have to be careful of how much they exercise. But other than that, there's nothing much different with the camp. They're kids, they're having fun. It was really fun. Uh, I got to relate myself to the other campers that had diabetes. And we got to share each other's opinions. We got to help each other out. Here they give you advice and they have sugar tablets to give you if you go low. So it's a lot easier and probably safer. Well, I guess the idea really came from my own diagnosis of type 1 diabetes at the age of 14. I was a pretty active uh, adolescent, liked to play basketball, and there really wasn't uh, much that I could find uh, to help athletes with, with diabetes. Through the support of the Diabetes Hope Foundation, campers have access to counselors trained to work with youth with diabetes and daily transportation to and from the camp. In addition, the foundation is sponsoring youth from low-income families to attend. Dr. Riddell hopes the support and education at the summer camp will give the campers the skills they need to live a healthy lifestyle.